Hello my dear doctors, welcome to the topic KD Kawasaki disease. The KB lectures on KD or KB means the knowledge based applications, right? And question based approach. So we'll see that how this Kawasaki disease and how we can apply our knowledges. So here is a question is given here for us. So according to the question based approach that we learned that we will first approach should be the main question. So what is the diagnosis? The first thing. Immediately after the second step, the reading the answer options. Options say there is a scarlet fever and staphylococcal scale skin syndrome, right? Or scale shock syndrome sometimes. Sometimes the tab is with toxic shock syndrome, but this is the scale skin syndrome. And also the Steven Johnson syndrome, leptospirosis, and also the DIA, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. So the summary, the third step immediately after that, there's a SS box that we need to remember. But here we don't have SS box, so we will see how the SS box will be helpful. But even then, we are focusing immediately after that, the fourth step, that is a photography. What the photography showed that? The photography showed that the ECG, one, two, three, some of the sinus tachycardia and some of the T inversions in the test test made the V1 to V6. All right. Immediately after that, the photography, the fifth step, that is the data. So once again, it said that the sinus tachycardia inverted T waves in V1 to V6. And the chest X-ray is normal urine CS is negative. Urine RM is a past cell as a 15 or high power fields. But the urine culture is negative. So once again, this WBC as a past cell is nothing but the inflammatory markers. And the blood culture is negative. So blood culture, urine culture negative does mean the septic screen is negative, means not that the infections. Then the biochemistry is normal. Albumin is low. That does mean, once again, albumin is a negative inflammatory marker. So, so that this albumin is reduction is, is also present in case of inflammation. So CRP is raised. ESR is raised significantly. Thrombocytosis as well as the leukocytosis as well as the hemoglobin. So once again, my dear, is low hemoglobin, raised WBC and platelets are the inflammatory markers along with the ESR CRP and albumin is low. And blood culture negative and urine culture negative, but the urinary showed that the pus cells, the 15 power high power fields. And having some of the sinus tachycardia, that shows some of the inflammations without infections. So yes, let's focus on to the examination findings. So start with the examinations here. The one examination, he appeared annual here fever of the 40, means 104, so high grade fever. His heart rate is 138. This part, many times regular, he lips, appeared the edematous. Examination of his mouth revealed the white coated tongue with a prominent papilla. On examination of the neck, there was widespread and tender cervical lymphadenopathy. Examination of the pharynx and tonsillar areas are normal. The palms of the hands and the feet are red. So the palms of the hands and feet are the red and there was evidence of early discommission of the skin on the palmar surface of the both hands. There was tenderness over the MCPs, joints of the both hands. And the pips and dips in the both feet were tender. So MCPs, pips and dips were tender. Cardiovascular system and respiratory system examinations were normal. Immediately after the sixth step, the seventh step, the history. So let's talk on the four year. 11 month old boy was admitted, seven day history of the fever, general malaise and pain in his hands and feet. 
and two weeks previously he had and had a bouse of tonsillitis which required a course of antibiotics on the day of admission complained of intermittent chest pain radiating to his back and his arms and he was born on 41 weeks gestation via normal vaginal delivery and he had a normal growth and he was the only child his father was a teacher and his mother was a housewife so he had been seen by GB three days earlier and diagnosed as having a viral illness for which he was prescribed paracetamol syrup so a child of four year 11 month boy of high grade fever along with some of the erymatous and also red tongue prominent papilla with the lymphadenopathy with the pumps and hands of the feet with the red and discomation of the skin involvement with the arthritis well, with the inflammatory markers with negative septic screen with the tachycardia so what is the diagnosis? Staphylococcal scal skin syndrome definitely only the scal scal should be there but not the other systemic features. Stevie and Johnson syndrome, once again the cutaneous manifestations and mucous membrane, not the other features that we have seen here. In leptospire, leptospire ictura hemorrhagica is usually there will be hemorrhagic features and of course the liver is involved. There will be separate lectures on this topic in infectious disease so you learn very well. And juvenile idiopathic arthritis, once again can be arthritis. Alright, so let's talk a father before coming to this question based approach or knowledge based application. So let's talk on explanations. The combination of the mucocuteneous, rheumatological and dermatologic involvement in a young boy shortly after a sore throat could be a scarlet fever, could be a Stephen Johnson syndrome, and could be an additional chest pain abnormal ECG shows that the Kawasaki disease. So the descriptions of the tongue and generalized erythema feed well with the scarlet fever. Yes. Stephen Johnson syndrome complicates streptococcal infection and idiosyncratic reactions to an antibiotics or a systemic reaction to general viral illness. The rash is not typical of Stephen Johnson's. Well, let's talk on the Kawasaki disease. KD has been very topical and it's only a matter of time before it appears in general examinations. It's only an acute multi-system vasculitis. As we learned that the medium size vasculitis in a childhood, here's once again the Kawasaki disease. It appears to be an endemic in Japan. The name is itself is a Japan where there have been more than one luck cases in since 1991. In contrast in the incidence in Britain is only the 35 per million. The disorder is thought to be due to severe immune reactions. That is important. Severe immune reaction following a streptococcal or staphylococcal infections. All the other organisms have also been implicated. So here is the Kawasaki Saki disease is streptococcal and staphylococcal infections leading to severe immune reactions. So Kawasaki is a streptostaphylo leading to severe immune reactions. Just remember my dear. Now let's talk on the, some of the diagnostic criteria for Kawasaki disease. Yes, so it's written by the fever persisting for more equal five days and at least follow the five following criteria. The changes in extremities including the indurated angioedema and discomation, polymorphous exanthem, and bilateral bulbar conjunctival injection without exudate, and changes to the leaves or oral cavity, including the pharyngeal infection, injection, dry fissured leaves, and the strawberry tongue. And number five, acute non purulent cervical lymphadenopathy greater than 1.5 centimeter. Some of the lab criteria, the lab showed the albumin less than 3, CRP more than 3, ESR more than 40 and elevated ALT and leukocytosis more than 15,000 
and normal static, normal chromic anemia for age and still albiria greater than 10 white not cells per cubic millimeter. All of the findings are basically the raised inflammatory markers. So yeah, is also the criteria for KD is given the classical or traditional of the five days duration of the fever with the changes in axial polymer for the exanthema, bilateral conjunctival injection, changing the leaves and all cavities, cervical lymph neuropathy, and exclusion of other diseases causing similar findings, and modified the classical criteria with the modification of the fever and fewer than four principal features, along with the coronary artery disease as detected by the 2D echocardiography or coronary angiography. This is very important, my dear, once again, fever and fewer than four, fever and fewer than four principal features along with the coronary artery disease as detected by 2D echo and coronary angiography, inclusion of the selective lab studies. And atypical findings in KD, the exudative conjunctivitis, exudative pharyngitis, generalized lymphadenopathy, discrete intraoral lesions and leukopenia less than 10,000 and also sometimes the thrombocytopenia. Treatment of Kawasaki disease, right, in acute and subacute stages that IV immunoglobin, that is 2 gram per kg infusions over the 10 to 12 hours plus aspirin, 80 to 100 milligram per kg part in 4 divided doses until the 10th to 14th illness day and the patient is FF, right, at least 2 to 4 days, then 10 to 3 to 5 milligram per kg once daily for 6 to 8 weeks. That's really important. It's a very hot topic for the exam. So you need must to know, my dear. Yes, IV immunoglobin may be repeated if fever passes to Rika with at least one classic sign of Kawasaki disease or elevated CRP level. And in convalescent stage, he has a no coronary abnormalities, no therapy. Transient coronary abnormalities like the aspirin, three to five minutes once daily at least until resolution of coronary abnormalities. Persistent small or medium coronary aneurysms, aspirin, three to five minutes package once daily. Giant or multiple small coronary aneurysms, 3 to 5 milligram once daily with or without 1 milligram package of body day of clopidogrel with warfarin or low molecular weight heparin for most patients, coronary obstruction, thrombolytic therapy, surgical or interventional procedures. So the summary box of the, and the important box my dad is very important. You'll see the pen that we, we know that the pen is also the medium vessel vasculitis, but in contrast, the Kawasaki is a medium vessel, but in childhood. So, I put a pen, is RAN, RAN means R for renal artery, renal artery aneurysm, once again, RAN is an aneurysm, and in contrast, Kawasaki, the single talk mitre that we need to remember, okay, for coronary artery aneurysm. So if you say the pan ran and Kawasaki is a can, means a coronary artery aneurysm. Pan ran can ran, can, Kawasaki is a can, means a coronary artery aneurysm, that will be helpful. So for the renal artery microaneurysms, yes, that leads to the thrombosis, renal infarct, and renal hypertension, renal arteriography is a diagnostic test. In contrast, the Kawasaki is a coronary, means the can aneurysms, artery aneurysms, and coronary artery disease, micro infarctions, as is a 2D echocardiography, and coronary angiography is a diagnostic test. So summary talk is a pan, ran, renal aneurysm, and Kawasaki is a can coronary aneurysm. Now let's talk on the SS box of diagnostic criteria of the Kawasaki disease. We put the Kawasaki, of course the Kawasaki in between the fever we put. So yes, my dear, so let's talk on the K for conjunctivitis, A for adenopathy, W for wow berry or W berry, A for angioedema. So say with me Kawa, K for conjunctivitis, A for adenopathy, W for W berry and A for angioedema. Adenopathy, angioedema. Yes. And A for exanthema, once again. So once again, adenopathy, angioedema, exanthema. So that will be helpful.
So this is about the kawa, along with the fever. And now let's talk about the sake. Sake means the sterile pyuria, A for anemia, albumin, ALT, AST. And K for coronary and I for inflammatory. It means the sake is nothing but the lab findings. Sake is the findings of the lab findings. Here's the sterile, anemia, albumin, ALT, AST, coronary, and inflammatory markers. So Kawasaki, S for sterile, A for anemia, albumin, ALT, AST, and K for, once again, coronary, and I for inflammatory markers. So here's the Kawasaki, is a K for conjunctivitis, A for adenopathy, W for W by A for, once again, yes, the angioedema, and once again, A for exanthema, fever, sucky, sterile, anemia, albumin, ALT, K for coronary, and I for inflammations. So here is a conjunctivitis. The conjunctivitis is non purulent It should be bilateral. Cervical lymph but usually cervical. Acute non purulent and unilateral. And the lymph nodes, yes, once again, greater than 1.5 centimeter. And W means the strawberry tongue with the pharyngeal injection with the dry fissured leaves, angioedema, yes, angioedema means the swelling, yes, swelling, and erythema and discommission involving the palms and soles. So yes, the swelling, erythema, discommission in the palms and soles. Exanthema is a polymorphous exanthema, and fever, fever is a five days less than five years. Fever, five days less than five years. Remember, my dear. And you see the sterile pyre and inflammatory markers greater than 10. Anemia, normal static, normal chronic, albumin less than 30. And once again, LTST, raised and coronary, once again, coronary artery is 2D and inflammatory, once again, the inflammatory markers, the CRP, ESR, WBC counts. So here is the 30, 40, 15,000, it will be helpful. CRP, ESR, and also the WBC counts. So all together is a Kawasaki, my dear. Yes, so Kawasaki is nothing but the Kawa fever Saki. is a mnemonic, so as this box, that would be helpful to remember all the diagnostic criteria and also the left findings of Kawasaki disease. But the diagnostic criteria is a Kawa, Kawa fever is important, and Saki is a left findings. Once again, the diagnosis of the Kawasaki in the box, there is a clinical. Kawasaki is a clinical diagnosis, but we can do, investigate the patients. Yes, the cardiography, that is the echocardiography and coronary angiography, if possible. Next, the treatment of Kawasaki is very important that we put the S. Yes, the Kawasaki treatment is the S. S is very important as for sendoglobulin. Sendoglobulin means the IV immunoglobulins. And within seven days of the symptom that should be started, that reduce the coronary artery complications. And as for aspirin, aspirin 80 to 100 milligram per kg, starting dose and then 3 to 5 milligram per kg body weights. For all patients plus clopidogrel, warfarin, and low molecular weight heparin in case of giant or multiple coronary artery aneurysms. And last, as, as for Sinfleximab, new role of Infleximab is a beneficial. So somebody talk, yes. Kawasaki that we need to remember, the sandoglobulin, sandoglobin, as well as the spirin, spirin, as well as the Sinfleximab. So the treatment is an S for, yes, sandoglobin. Just talk with me, sandoglobin, spirin, and as well as the Sinfleximab, Kawasaki coronary angiography, or the 2DM mode echocardiography, cardiography, and Kawasaki diagnostic clinical. And Kawa fever is a diagnostic criteria, and Saki is a lab findings. So this is the summary box. The one, two, three, four boxes are really important. Now let's see some of the photography, right? You see the conjunctivitis. All right, you see the strawberry tongue, you see the palms and also the feet having some of the 
redness and also erythema, all right? And some discommissions are here. And here is a fever for five days, cervical lymph nodopathy, rash, hands and feet are also swelling, mucositis, bilateral, non-exudative conjunctivitis, and coronary artery aneurysms. Here is a very typical photo slide is given, right? With the conjunctivitis, with the palms and feet, hands and feet are affected with the polymorphous rash also over the body and Kawasaki Mesa strawberry tongue and also mucous membrane involvement and geodema is also there and some of the rashes are there. This is the polymorphous rash. This is also the conjunctival injection lipidema erythem in a two-year-old boy in the sixth day of the illness and this erythematous and erythematous hands in an 11 uh, year a two-month-old girl of the sixth day of the illness and this is a discommission. Yes, you saw the pre angle discommission in three year old on the twelfth day of the illness. And this is 2D MOD, echocardiography. This is basically the aorta, right? This is the circumflex, right? This is the L main, means the left main stem, means the left main coronary artery. This is the left circumflex and this is the left anterior descending. So these are the arteries are seeing, all right. So here is also the pulmonary artery and this is the left anterior descending and this is the left main stem and this is the left circumflex and this is the aorta. So this is shown in a short axis view, right to show the coronary artery aneurysms. This is a very good diagram. So this is the left anterior descending. You see the aneurysmal dilatations. Here is the right coronary artery aneurysmal dilatations. So vascularis commonly affects the coronary arteries called the microaneurysms, coronary thrombosis, myocardial infarctions. Death is usually cardiac failure following infarction. Features of cardiac involvement include the tachycardia, prolonged interval, and ST elevation and tube inversions. Other organs which may be affected include the lungs, brain, GI tract, and small joints of the body may be affected in 30% cases. Diagnosis clinical, no specific test inflammatory markers can be raised. And coronary involvement may be detected non invasively by viewing the origins of the coronaries by echocardiography that is shown on the figure above. There is no difficult because the young children have a very good windows of eco windows and also mainstay the treatment of the aspirin and also sandoglobin, spirin and sandoglobin and the reduce the mortality of conditions more than 30 percent to less than one percent. This is typically right uh, mucocutaneous limb node syndrome and infantile polyarthritis. So the name of the KD is a mucocutaneous limb node syndrome. So yes is shown in the strawberry tongue and here is the rash, the skin rash, the polymorphous rash, this is the discommission of the skin, yes. So one of the important talk here, right, the Kawasaki disease is recognized as a leading cause of acquired heart disease in the children with as many as one in four patients developing problems in their coronary arteries. Although these conditions were initially thought to be benign, subsequent fatalities in untreated children revealed the complete thrombotic occlusion of the coronary artery aneurysms, market infarctions as the immediate cause of death. About 1 in 100 patients will die of cardiac complications. Fortunately, KAD is usually self-limiting, generally lasting 10 to 14 days in an acute phase and is treatable. Most children fully recover from the acute phase and require no further treatments. So acute subacute and convalescent disease. The clinical manifesting stages of cause are shown not all signs and symptoms may be present in all cases. Some features may appear and disappear before other arise. In pump disease, some patients have incomplete atypical clinical presentations. Two findings that are most commonly absent are the cervical lymphopolymorphous rash. 
So what other conditions may similarly present to the Kawasaki disease? So all the above, like the retropharyngeal cellulitis, group A beta amyloidic, streptococcal infarction, Rocky Mountain spotted, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. So this in conjunctivitis is shown here. Strawberry tongue once again. This is also the mucous membrane involvement. Which of the following tests specific in diagnosis of Kawasaki disease? Yes, among the tests is the diagnostic, so none of the above, right? So the most important things right here, next point, which of the following is a complication of delayed diagnosis or treatment in the Kawasaki disease? Of course, the coronary artery aneurysms. So the main treatment goal in the Kawasaki disease is to prevent the coronary artery aneurysms and other complications. Kawasaki disease is treated in the hospital with medication. The usual therapy consists of high dose of aspirin and IV immunoglobulins, but anticoagulants may be administered if an aneurysm is present. And how should you monitor patients after treatment? So, echocardiography can be a measurement, all right? Monitoring of the after the treatment. So the summary talk, the echocardiogram can be monitoring and also can be the diagnostic for coronary artery aneurysms and the treatment of sandoglobin, spirin, and also sometimes the synfeximab in refractory causes, cases and coronary artery aneurysms, right? And summary talk once again that I'd like to before finishing, right? Uh, going back to the questions, all right, so if you write, apply our knowledge into the term, so once again, the diagnosis here, the Kawasaki disease should be added here. It is not here. Yes, my dear, let's uh, back to the question so that let's see that how this knowledge that we learned from the Kawasaki disease can be applied. So yes, the uh, diagnosis of the Kawasaki disease and Kawasaki disease that we learned that Kawa fever, Saki. So we are looking for the Kawa, all right? So can okay, start for conjunctivitis. So on examination findings that you have seen that the fever, the high grade fever with the leaves erymatous and having the papilla, right? And examination findings that the cervical lymphadenopathy. So Kawa, A for adenopathy, and once again, W for, once again, the W berry tongue, means the strawberry tongue, and once again, A for exanthema, and once again, you see the Kawasaki, the box, that will be really helpful, and A for angioedema. So we have got in our scenarios, right, you see that the leaves are appear edematous. So yes, the angioedema. So that is also important point. And prominent papilla is a strawberry tongue. So the fevers, the once again the kawa, that's really important, and exanthema, that's really important. So fever, kawa fever, and having with the sake means all the features of the inflammatory marker. So low hemoglobin, WBC raised and platelets, and raised DSR CRP, albumin low. Yes, once again, that the parcel WBC means the sake is a sterile pyorrhea, remember. So the parcel, sterile means you read negative. So yes, this is sterile pyorrhea. And once again, K4, yes, the coronary artery involvement and also ECG pictures, sinus taker inverted tears in V1 to V6. So all the features are the kawa fever, sake, or the Kawasaki disease. And the boxes, all right, just to review, recap, once again, the pan, ran, renal artery, and geography, kawa is a coronary artery aneurysms, kawasaki, kawa fever, saki, and kawa clinical, kawasaki is a coronary angiography or echocardiography, and kawasaki is a treatment, is an ass, sandoglobin, spirin, simpleximab. I hope that, my dear, you enjoyed the kawasaki disease. Thank you. Thank you very much.